Hello everybody and welcome to another advanced flipping guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how I flip high volume items. Uh, so any item that has 100,000 million plus traded a day, I consider to be a high volume item. I'm going to go through a bit of a workflow of how I determine if a item is good. Because a lot of people know, uh, I mean like Zolver Scales, Runes, there's a lot of pr pretty well known flipping items that are high volume. Uh, but I'll show you how I determine if the item is actually going to be good at a particular moment and um, just anything else related to flipping high volume items. Alright, let's jump into it. Alright, so the first part is actually the easiest and that is just finding an item. Now the item doesn't have to be good, you just have to find an item to work with and then we can determine how good it is from there and if you should look for another one after. Uh, so to start off, what I normally do is I go to uh, RuneScape's top 100 most traded items. Now, of course, there are more than 100 items that would be considered high volume in the game, uh, but these are all pretty good and it's a good place to start. Uh, from there, uh, if you have access to GE Tracker, which is a website that sponsors me and uh, is a Grand Exchange tracking tool in itself, uh, they do have access to a high volume tab, uh, which is extremely useful, has a ton of different ideas that aren't just on the most traded page. I can see here the Diamond Wolf E are at the top with approximately a 32 GP margin. Again, you're going to want to recheck that, but it's good for ideas. Uh, link will be in the description for GE Tracker. Alright, so let's just say we're going to check the Diamond Bolt E. We'll go ahead, go into our Grand Exchange, and uh, buy and sell a Diamond Bolt E. Alright, so we're going to buy it for 574, that seems weird, and uh, we're going to sell it for 554. Alright, so you're thinking uh, that is probably a good margin, uh, but you don't want to base whether you're going to flip an item just off of the margin. You definitely want to go ahead and have a look more into the item. So let's go ahead, we're going to hop on the GE Tracker for this. It is going to be free. All the um, tools for the most part I'm using in GE Tracker are free. Alright, so we're going to look up the Diamond Bolt E. So we know this is going to be a highly traded item. It was already in the list there. Buying quantity. 40,000, selling quantity, 22,000. Uh, if we look how many are traded a day, 1.4 million, that is definitely a high volume item. So the most important thing we're gonna wanna look at is the historical price here. Um, if you have the free membership, you can have a look at the week. Now you can see something weird is going on here. It spiked up to an extremely high amount and um, just in the last three hours. So while the margin is good on this item, the risk, I would not take the risk for this anyway. I don't think it's worth it, even though the margin is decent, we're going to skip on this All item. Right, so let's go ahead and look for another item here. Uh, let's just look at this highly traded items page here. Let's go with the death rune. Tend to have a pretty decent margin on them. Death rune. Alright, so we bought it for 390 and uh, we're going to... That seems really high too. Oh sorry, we bought it for 350 and we sold it for 327 So again looks like a really good margin. Let's go have a quick look at um, G Tracker again. And this is a really important step that a lot of people forget is to actually check the item with some third party software. Uh, well, that sounds a little extreme. But anyway, using a website like this to check the historical values, because uh, again, this does look quite a bit higher. So what was our buy price again? 327. So that's what we're going to be buying it for. So don't worry too much about the sell price, because what you're purchasing it for is what, where you stand to lose from. 327 is definitely a bit higher than it normally is, but you're not, it's been going up like this for half of the day already. So I think this is probably a reasonable amount of risk for the amount of margin we could potentially get. So we'll go ahead and buy this item. So 327, uh, the limit on death runes is 10k. Again, if you have access to G Tracker, there should be a uh, limit displayed here, 10,000. If not, you can look it up on the wiki. It's available online. All right, another important uh, tip I can give you is when you're buying high margin items, you definitely want to buy the buying limits worth, but take off like 10 or so, because uh, you don't want to actually hit the buying limit because you will not be able to recheck the item later. So the final check I go through after I've determined an item is safe to flip, has a good margin on it, is just finally to see how it compares to other items. And the way I do that is by uh, determining a ratio. Now this ratio is going to correspond to how much it costs to obtain 1 GP in profit. So if you're spending 50 GP and you're getting 1 GP in profit compared to another item where you're spending 100 GP and you're getting 1 coin in profit, the first one is going to be better. 
that's how I personally like to rank different items, especially when they're in the same category, like a high volume item. They're all going to be trading the same. They don't have a lot different differentiating themselves besides um, this ratio, in my opinion. So to start off to get the ratio, uh, you're going to start by getting the margin of the item. So if we have a bowstring as an example here, 133 minus 131 is going to be 2, 2 GP on each bowstring. Uh, from there, you're going to take the uh, price that you sold the item at, or bought it at least. Uh, this top part of the bowstring image here uh, is 131. You're going to take the lower of the prices, divide it by the margin, which in this case is 2, giving you a ratio of 65.6 GP, or it costs us about 65 GP to earn 1 GP in profit. I would consider this to be okay. Not terrible, not that great. So this is how I rank the different ratios. If you have a ratio that's less than 10, that would be insanely good. Although you do have to keep in mind that cheap items like say the Fire Rune or Earth Rune, they'll have an insane ratio on them, but it's because they're so cheap, so I wouldn't really consider an item unless it's over 20, 30, 40 GP mostly. Uh, if it's between 10 and 20 GP ratio, uh, that is going to be very good. 20 to 50 is good. 50 to 100 is kind of the average item. And 100 plus probably wouldn't bother with, uh, but not necessarily. All right, so while we were gone, uh, we did manage to successfully flip our death runes. Now, we didn't sell them for 350. Didn't expect to, but we'll go ahead, collect it, and uh, see what kind of profit we're looking at. 3, 3, 3, 7, minus 3, 2, 6, 7, 70k in profit. There we go. All right, so now we'll go ahead and determine how good the flip was. So we'll take our uh, price we sold it at, take off the price we bought it at. That's going to give us our margin. Margin, we got 7 GP on each item. Now we're going to take the price we bought the items at, 327 and divide it by the margin, which is 7. That is going to give us a uh, 46 point ratio. Uh, what that essentially means is, I have a little graph open here that I showed you earlier. Uh, now, it costs us 46 coins to get 1 GP back from the item. If we have a look at our, the way I kind of distribute it, that's in the good category. Decent. A little bit above average and uh, pretty happy with that flip. Alright, so we're going to do three more example flips for you, just three kind of different items, uh, but all high volume. Alright, so let's start off with the Astral Rune. I already checked the margin here, but we'll do it again for you quickly. Uh, so we bought it for 194, and we're going to sell it for 189. So that is a 5 GP margin. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly look at the GE Tracker graph. Uh, Astral Rune is here. Again, we're buying it for 189. Correct. All right, so we'll go down here to the earliest data possible. All right, so yes, it is spiking, uh, but it's not abnormally high by any means, and um, this item will trade quickly enough for us to hopefully get this profit before the price changes too much. So we'll go ahead, buy 10 KDs, take off about five to 10, all right, the last thing we want to do here again for the Astral Rune is just check the ratio. Just just make sure it's decent. So we have a 5 GP ratio, which is uh, 194 minus 189. It's 5 GP. So we're going to take 189 divided by 5, uh, giving us 37.8, uh, which is uh, pretty good. We have a little uh, uh, chart here. It's in the good category. Decent. Let's move on to another item here. Uh, what else did I look up? Adam and Dart. Gonna buy it for 172 and sell it for 166. Looks like a very good margin on it. Let's go ahead, have a quick look at G Tracker. Actually, we have it open here. Perfect. Alright, so it looks like uh, it averages around 175, uh, it's kind of a higher point, but not too bad. And uh, we could look to buy it for 166. I think that's a pretty decent price. Go ahead and buy uh, 10k of these, I believe is the limit. Let's go ahead and recheck the limit here. Actually 11,000. All right, we'll go for 10,995 at 166. Looks good. All right, another item I'm gonna try doing is actually free to play. Uh, so we'll try the soft clay. Uh, looks like it's more expensive than it normally would be right now. 
soft clay, 200, and is selling for 170. So that's a 30 GP margin on it right now. Of course, we're going to go have a quick look at G Tracker. I think I'm prepared to take a bit of a riskier item here, uh, but let's have a look at the price. So the last little while, it is going up to 200 and uh, 170. We're looking to buy it for 170. Let's go ahead and do that. And the limit on the soft clay is not available. So we'll go ahead and just do around 10k. Take off some. And uh, yeah, we'll wait till these items have bought and sold and we'll come back with the results. All right, so we're back and everything did manage to sell. Now we did end up swapping out our uh, soft clay for you logs. It's still a free to play item, so you get the idea. Let's start with the Astro runes. Uh, so unfortunately, we didn't nearly get the price uh, that we wanted. That being said, they crashed in price, but they still stayed above uh, what we bought them for, uh, which is 189, and uh, we still profited 10k. So not like that much, but we didn't lose any money, so we kind of helped. Uh, prevent any loss there. Next up, the Adamant Darts. Extremely good. Sold them for 179 and we bought them for 166 So, uh, 1825 into 1968 That's about 130k in profit off that flip. Took about 15 minutes. Not that long. Last up is the U-Log. We uh, sold them for 363 each, and we bought them for 356 very good for free to play. Um, I can't think of an easier way to make 60k uh, just from doing nothing. So as you can see, all these uh, flips were pretty successful. Didn't lose any money because uh, we checked the item's price beforehand and uh, made sure we weren't buying the item that had been spiking at the time. Alright, so let's go ahead and just do a final price check here just to see how much we made. Uh, just some pretty casual flips. So 282k, extremely easy. I mean, we have 30 mil, but we only use like five. And uh, how does this normally fit into my flipping schedule, you could say? I usually come up with five to 10 uh, good, high quality, high volume items that you can just uh, put, fill up your offer slots with, do the flips, and uh, then repeat them in four hours. It's good to have at least six if you're gonna solely be flipping high volume items. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something. Uh, if you did, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, haven't said that a lot recently, and I will see you guys in the next video.